The enemy is attacking on American soil. Our armed forces will take care of the human invaders. But there is another enemy, a vile destroyer of property, homes and lives, whom we must fight in every American community. And it's everybody's fight. Let us look more closely into the rubble left by this explosion. There, there he is, our enemy, the rat. He's about as loathsome a creature as we know, the bottom word in anybody's language. Look at that wicked countenance. Ooh, the mere sight of it gives you goose flesh. This natural abhorrence of rats is as old as man himself. And for these reasons, they do tremendous damage to our buildings, gnawing holes, weakening structures, ruining plumbing, and starting fires. They ruin large quantities of food and other supplies, destroying 10 times as much as they eat and polluting great quantities more that might have been eaten by human beings. And most important, they carry diseases, including the dread plague and typhus fever. Sometimes the disease germs are carried on the rat's feet. But more often, the infection is spread by secondary parasites like lice and fleas. The infected flea leaves a sick or dead rat, attaches himself to a live, healthy one, and is thus taken into the rat's nest, where fleas live and breed abundantly. Infected fleas are then carried from the nest into your home or the place you work or shop or visit, where they are knocked off by the rats scratching. They hop around on the floor until time for the next meal. You provide this next meal and you become infected through the break in your skin where the bite occurs. It is the close association of rat and man living together which constitutes a health menace. Prevent this association and you break the chain of infection. The rat is by far our most costly mammalian pest and the most dangerous animal enemy of man. In the United States, there are more rats than human inhabitants. It costs approximately $2 a year to feed one rat. And the estimated annual board bill in this country alone is well over $300 million, a rather high figure for an unwelcome guest, especially in times like these. You might well ask, why do we pay for it? Public health officials know how to get rid of rats, and the story can be told in three short lines. Block their entrance into buildings, eliminate enclosed spaces where they nest, catch and kill. It is always better to know the enemy before we begin to fight. By studying his habits and needs, we discover the weak points of his defense. And then we can strike where it will do most good. For example, rats hug the wall when climbing stairs. So we catch them with traps placed near the wall. Rafters like these are no barrier to a rat's progress, but on them he leaves his mark. We recognize the signs and place traps in the way. We know that rats eat meat, grain, vegetables, garbage, almost anything. And they will do seemingly impossible things in order to get at food. Take this fellow, for instance, gnawing through a lead pipe. And here is as good an exhibition of wire walking as you've ever seen at the circus. This rat knows that the wire leads to food. After he gets to the building, he must find an opening into the house. The instinct to nest and reproduce is as strong as the instinct to eat. So rats naturally seek a home. 
Usually they don't have to go to much trouble to find homes because we provide these for them, made to order, steam heated, everything but the welcome mats. These are typical examples of conditions and factors responsible for the presence of rats in our buildings. And don't think they're necessarily slum dwellers. They will live in any building that provides harborage, even homes like this. We know that rats are very prolific, producing litters of five to 10 every couple of months. According to estimates of the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, they are the most prolific of all mammals. And a single pair of rats left to reproduce unhampered would become 1,500 in a year. And 360 million in the short space of three years. Of course, they're not allowed to multiply unhampered. So the situation is not quite so bad. It's plenty bad enough, however, and high time we took the offensive and counterattack. Here are a few of the things you can do. Get rid of old rubbish. Eliminate enclosed spaces in which rats might nest, under platforms, under stairs, under houses. Close openings around pipes and wires. Or better still, make such openings to fit exactly the pipes they admit and put metal collars around them to prevent breaks or gnawing. Rats will not burrow in the ground deeper than 20 inches, so make the foundations of your buildings rat-proof two feet below and one foot above ground. Concrete or a metal sheet sunk along the building wall will serve this purpose. Avoid double walls where possible, but if you use them, be sure they are kept intact so rats cannot run between them. Blocks and jams help. Cover basement windows and other openings with wire mesh or perforated sheet steel. Any opening larger than half an inch will admit rats. If you can get your forefinger into it, a rat can squeeze through. Where wire mesh or glass is used, it must be protected and kept intact. Once broken, your protection is gone. Wherever possible, use rat-proof materials, metal, concrete, plaster, stone, bricks, or tile. This door is flashed with metal, and the door pull keeps it closed when not in use. Concrete is the most nearly perfect material for rat proofing. Repair breaks in walls as soon as they are discovered in order to keep them out. Buildings where food is kept must be unusually well protected, like this one with concrete floor, brick walls, and tight-fitting metal door. Finally, there should be periodic inspections to see that buildings are properly maintained. Fight rats with knowledge. Ask your health department for help. Rat control is up to you. While individual effort can do a lot, the concerted effort of the whole community is needed to solve the problem completely. Eternal vigilance and a well-planned continuing program should be our answer to this challenge. So long, Rat. The outlook for you is not very good. Keep them out.